Okay. This is um, a video for the new hot end to uh, to Overlord printer from Dreamaker. This is uh, the original hot end that was uh, on the printer um, when it was bought uh, at the Kickstarter campaign. And I just today received uh, the new hot end from uh, DF Robot. And I have just wrapped it up here from all the bubble plastic or what to call it. And this is the new modified, uh, what to say, the new improved hot end to Dreamaker. And as you can see here, it's, I'll just, uh, here, you have three fans, two who is, two fans who is blowing directly onto, uh, what to say, onto the print bed. Maybe I could do like this, maybe it's get better. Sorry for uh, the bad video. Uh, anyhow, this is more or less how it looks. It's uh, long cables and in the instruction video it says that they should go all the way up to where I should be connected up here somewhere. And this little circuit board here shall be moved up to where uh, the filament is loaded also. <clears throat> I will try to mount it uh, this evening and uh, make a video for it. Uh, anyhow, I was looking underneath it and I was just thinking it's uh, something was in the advertisement or what to call it in the technical description. It says that it should be auto leveling and okay, I couldn't find any any what is it, certain any breaker or what to say connector but i saw then later that there is one and it's hidden here underneath so there you have this i will try to point at it here i'm s let's see here there you have it and it works kind of I have not seen this type of it I, I, I guess it it will automatically there is a hinge point here so the whole nozzle is moved forth and back to uh, when it's make the auto leveling sequence and I don't see any reason to why it shouldn't work so I, I haven't just seen this kind of solution earlier but you can see here if I will now pull ugh, there's a lot of cables in the way I will just pull this so now there was a sound from the switch and then I release it and it goes back. So I will be quiet here and you may hear it. Click. And so on. So the whole nozzle or the whole hot hand will move um, like this. When, when when the auto leveling is is going on or is used or what to say I haven't seen like I said this solution earlier and here you can see there is one hole there here 
trying to get some and you can see here if I when I move the hot end you see that that hole is also moving so there are some springs inside here and stuff and I, I don't see anything um, it seems quite okay I would say I don't know if this is an E3D original hot end. Uh, I, I saw somewhere that uh, it maybe wasn't and I see oh and still I see there is okay if you down here you can see that it seems like it still is too what do you call it two um, temperature sensors so now I, I think there have been some modification to this one because this is I haven't seen any E3D hot end with two temperature sensors uh, yeah what more to say about this I, I, it seems like good build quality and yes one thing that I, I checked this plastic tube here it's it's replaced from the last model because uh, if you check uh, the, the original one that is this one that is from the printer uh, that was on the printer from the beginning from the Kickstarter that one is too big I have replaced it on on my printer I ordered uh, uh, PT FE tube I think it's called from uh, E3D online to replace this one because I heard that they had good good one because the the original one was have a too big hole inside and that will affect the print quality due to the reason that you feed the filament all the way from up here so every time you every time uh, the, the every time you uh, you, what you say feed the filament or, or push the filament down to the hot end uh, and it, it will it, and, and and when you and when it retracts the filament it will uh, create probably the filament won't move down here for the first millimeters or that the filament is pulled due to that the original uh, PTFE hose was too big so uh, so anyhow I I, 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 I I got better prints when I replaced that one so and and now I they have also replaced this one with with a with a PTFE tube that has the correct size for 1.75 millimeters filament okay uh, that was all I will make one more video of this and um, and uh, upload when I have mounted to the printer if anyone is interested so um, yeah and my other project here I guess will uh, I, I it will have to wait a little bit I, I was trying here to I have ordered a lot of parts to uh, for the Chimera and Cyclops I think it's called these two to once I was trying to I was uh, trying to uh, get 
dual extrusion on this printer and I have I have some parts here so but I am I'm, I'm not finished with it so um, anyhow yes I, I hope uh, Someone uh, enjoyed this video and have some use of this information about this new hot end. And what I can see right now, it seems to be as it tells, it's auto leveling with the switch. Uh, and um, so it will be very interesting to see if this works. And I will also try to investigate a little bit more if I need to have any special firmware it doesn't tell anything about that in uh, in the instruction video on DF Robots homepage so um, I will investigate a little bit about that yeah okay have a nice day or a nice evening and bye bye